Hello, here we go again. Hello, Racing the Bean. How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing all right. A little bit early today, I think. 20 minutes early. Wow. Cool. So, plan for today. Um, today, yes, we're going to do more pickups, I think. Actually... These two are done. So I'm going to do the pickaxe at least. And then I have a new enemy, have the sprite ready. And we could work on that. Or maybe a little bit of polishing. There are a couple of things I would like to do that are very quick. So I can do a mix. And yeah, let's look at that counter. 17 days, 6, 7 hours, 49 minutes, seconds going down. Ooh. Yeah, let's take a look to the game. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I have found um, the process to be a little bit slower than I was expecting. Um, I have found that hmm, having to stream is slowing me down because sometimes I have some time and I could be working on this a little bit but I don't do it because it's not time for me to stream so yeah it's kind of mm, it it helps me um, oh there was uh, some weird stuff in there mm, I don't know what it was Probably my computer. Anyway, that will be stage clear. Although this level is really awful. I mean, it's just for testing. It's not a good level design. Cool. Um. So yeah, I found that yeah, it's a little bit slow because sometimes I will do things and I'm not doing them. I put it to do, but mm, it's going to be hard to finish on time because. Mm, I should finish everything I want to do sooner than that because two things it's very unlikely that I'm going to do the level design on the stream so I will have some I will need some time to do level design even if I do the the sound on a stream I'm not going to write the music on the stream I think that would be awful to watch and listen so yeah when everything is in place although i'm doing things for example i'm working on the art when i'm not streaming but yeah i will need some time and also i would like to have some testing so i reckon that we don't have 17 days left we have way less than that because it's 29 of june today and the 17th of of July is the limit so I don't know anyway let's do pickups which is not pickups it's probably pickup uh, what I did last last day it did feel weird at the times and not very good but I think it's not that bad I was very tired And I had the feeling that it was not quite right in places, but I think it's not that bad. <laughs> I think it's not that bad. Let's change this one to be a pickaxe. Um, and also, okay, let's start changing things. And add. I mean, at this point, we know how to add a new item, right? And in here, we will have to uh, uh, pickaxe in it, right? Um, and what else do we need to add? Oh, I just noticed something. 
I'm not using the entity type at all. No, because we changed to do this structure, right? So I think let's get rid of that because it's awkward. It's not going to work because it doesn't know that, but this, this is okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good. Um, so we had the pickaxe already, which is frame one. So I guess it's like time more than bonuses. So let's copy this one. Anyway, I, it did feel worse when I wrote this last time. But I think it's it's fine, it's not so pick up pickaxe do we have pickaxe here? Yeah, pick up pickaxe. Um and it's going to be like like the regular bonus. Probably sh it could show sooner actually. And uh, then the bonus. Because it may be more useful. Let's do that. Let's make it show sooner. And pick a way to date. Fine. And pick a way to date basically goes to uh, pick a new date that basically it set up the pickaxe, right? It's going to be similar to this one. It's going to be pickaxe. And it's going to be frame one. Contest zero. Didn't I change something here? Or did I change my mind? I'm confused now. I cannot recall. Didn't we do this? I thought we did. I have a weird feeling about this. I thought, honestly, I thought we had. I can't. I, I remember doing this change, making this change. Anyway, so pickaxe. What is the effect of the pickaxe? Um. We still don't know. Well, I think I know. I'm just going to do something like add pickaxe. And that is going to be in game. Um, this more like this. Okay. And then something like this, something like this. So add big hacks. Um, So it's going to be if a pickaxe is less than what? Do we have? I think I kind of like the idea of having up to three pickaxes. And then. Yeah, something like that. And then use pickaxe. 
a pickaxe, then well, we remove one, we take the hood, and we return one. Hey, how you doing? A kites. I don't know how to pronounce your name. You probably don't know, but yeah, you how how would you know? I spent some time living in in Bilbao actually. So yeah, I have some nice feelings with the Basque people actually. I really enjoy my time in yeah. Yeah, I spend I really love the time I spend there. Um drinking good wine, <laughs> eating very good food. <laughs> And the people is nice as well. So yeah, I really enjoy the time I spend there because I'm not. I mean, I'm from I'm from Alicante, and I spend some time working in, in Bilbao and living there. Some are nice in the than others. I don't know. I only met nice people, so I was very lucky. <laughs> yeah, I really like Bilbao. I've been there at least. I did work. Um, it's not going to be a surprise. I was working for um, Panda Software, uh, the antivirus people. I was there as an open source expert. Quotes. Um, I was working in one of the projects, uh, Mild Filtering Appliance. And this was in 2006. 2006. I think it was about the 16 years anniversary of the company or something like that. Yeah, it was a good time. Okay, so I'm going to keep the pickaxe as well here. You might know some of my ex co workers. Yeah, I didn't know a lot of people really. Um, funnily enough, yeah, funny enough, I knew some people from IRC before I moved to Bilbao. It's quite funny because I didn't know them personally, but I knew I knew them, like the nicknames on IRC, and it was very weird, like are you this guy? And then you know, it was kind of funny. Um so pickaxe and then when we need the game we need to set those things to zero right yeah i think um by the time i left i spent there over a year and a half or something like that by the time by the time i left uh they had hired a uh, like a c ceo instead of what was the name of the owner i don't remember his name but basically one of the founder that was the the ceo up to that point he kind of moved away and when they hired this uh, professional ceo i think they wanted to sell the company or i thought the guy was tired and they got this other guy and you know they tried to make it profit and and sell or whatever right so why did i put a value for gold here i think it doesn't make sense okay so well if i was working on on an a bit for example uh eager well, uh, did I make an Iker? Yeah, I know, I knew an Iker, but I don't know if it's the same one. Iker Perez. Yeah, probably. I think it was Iker Perez. I don't remember, man. Probably not. Maybe yes. Um, it's kind of famous. Hmm. The guy I met, it, was, it didn't feel like he was... Who is Iker then? It was the director of, of Panda, or it's just one of the guys working there. 
We used to call because he was in la at the last floor. We call him uh, in Spanish uh, a random guess. Okay. We used to call him the El Demiurgo. <laughs> it was a fun. It was a fun time. It was a funny company. Uh, you know, people. So, you know, people were doing a good job and all that stuff. But we had a lot of fun. It's quite fun because you know, if it was someone's birthday, that person will buy. You know, will get some uh, tortilla de patatas, uh, potato omelet. And if someone was leaving, that person will get tortilla de patatas. So almost. Every Friday there was tortilla de patatas on, on your floor because it was someone's birthday, someone was celebrating something, or someone was leaving. Um, so we had pinchos like that very often. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. It was, it was a good time to be in Panda. Uh, maybe a little bit a little bit late. I think um, if I was there maybe a year before, two years before, it would have been awesome. But you know, I got to the end of the wave, which it was, it was great. Okay, so I don't think I have pickaxe, so I need to add it here because I didn't know what to do with it. No, I don't know him. Uh, no, that's definitely not. I knew... See, the funny thing is that I remember their nicknames on IRC. <laughs> but I'm not completely sure I remember their actual names. Um, how was this guy? Um, Matalas? No, I don't remember. You know, I keep contact with a couple of guys. One of them is, or he was, I think he's still in, in Dublin working for Symantec, which is another antivirus company. It, it was quite common, right? When you get to, to work for one of them, it, it's kind of easy to work with for another. I didn't, I was not a security guy. I was there because I knew a lot about uh, Postgres and Postfix and Linux. And I was part of a team that we were working on you know, stuff related to open source and integrating with it was a mail mail appliance to filter email. So I was not really into security or antivirus and stuff like that. It was a different type of a type of thing. So I was a Linux guy, <laughs> which is kind of we were kind of the weird guys. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I, I learned a lot of things. Um, I was working with very smart people, most of them, not all of them, but you know, I have a very good, a couple of good managers and you know, nice people. It was fun. And you know, living in Bilbao was great as well. I have very good memories of, you know, the city. Mm. So, okay, so we didn't have the pickaxe. I need to add the pickaxe here. Um, ba, 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 ba. And it's going to be after the score. Although the order here is not really important. Um, oh, what I was mentioning before is that in if I was working on an 8B game, I would probably not do that. Um, for example, SDCC will place the, the variables in RAM in the order we put them here. So you get the address of the first one and then you can do the mem set instead of setting the values like this. It's, it's definitely, it uses less space and it's faster. Anyway, it's not the case because we're working on a modern PC, but... And also being a modern uh, compiler, you can't really rely on those tricks anymore because they are supposed to move things and optimize stuff and you're probably going to break something if you do it like that. Right, okay, so pickaxe. Uh, what I'm going to do with the pickaxe? I think what I'm going to do is similar to what I plan to do. Um,
similar to what I was planning to do with the lights, but I didn't like it. Um, so let's see how this one looks. Um, so three. Oh, okay. So let's. Um, Let's do the same, right? All game max pickaxe. Anyway. So that should work. Now here, uh, what we're going to do is... Oh, yes, I use Cdax. Yes. Um, like... But I, I don't know. I. I also, yeah, when I'm doing C, I use C When I'm using Python, Haskell, uh, uh, or Scala, I use a, a, a language server because it's much better. But for C, the language servers are very difficult to configure and set up, and I just don't want to go there. The good things with C tags is that, for example, if I'm doing um, so, for example, if I'm doing eight bits with a very old compiler like this. Oh, there's no. <laughs> okay, let me do that. So I update the tags. And it works also with assembler, which is really good and really cool. So yeah, syntax, really good. The only thing is that you need some plugin in Beam or whatever you're using to keep the the tag database up to date. Otherwise it's a pain in the ass. But... So if, uh, how do we do this? How do we do this? Um, I think I didn't like it. And also, why I didn't do it like this? It's because it did look funny, right? Um, I think it's going to look better if I use it. Uh, so basically, I have I have this small sprite, but when I try this with the with the lives. Oh yeah, well that's that, that's the style. I, I don't know what I'm doing it like that. Uh, I don't remember now anymore. I don't remember anymore. But I started doing it like that, and I have uh, auto format when I save. It formats the code the way I like it, so I don't need to think too much. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to do like the lives. Um, because I didn't like it when I implemented the lives. Um. So let's do with the pickaxe. So let's do it like this. Uh, so the score is <clears throat> is 34 plus a time. So uh, six by eight pixels. So that's 82. So we can do 90 maybe. And it's going to be a, no, okay. It's not going to be ninety. It's going to be more. It's going to be ninety plus sixteen plus eight. I'm not sure about this, but we can see how it looks. Okay, so that's for the for this is going to show the pickaxe. That is going to be zero most of the time, and we need to put the sprite the pickaxe right oh right no it's going to be only 16 so 106 because i don't do sometimes in some games i put the sprite and times or x or an asterisk but in this case i didn't put it for the lives um so let's try that and this is the pickaxe and the pickaxe now we're saying that it's going to be in uh, 90 right so we need to change source and destination. So source X is going to be 
this one which is 11232 well I have a because 32 is already there okay and destination X is going to change and we said it was going to be 90 right let's try that no oh game max pick access so close okay I mean I, I'm really amazed that it wor it did work first time um cool um and it's going to be confusing I think this is going to be Oh, I got a pickaxe, but instead of using the pickaxe, it shows the... Uh, okay, that's wrong. It, it did show the sprite of the snake, right? So I guess the pickaxe is wrong. So the pickaxe is this one, which is 64, 16. Oh, thank you. 6416. Yeah, I mean, there's been a little bit of work since the last time. So we have snakes, we have bats, and we're working on the pick on the pick pickups now. And one of the pickaxe. The pickups is the pickaxe. So and we still don't I don't haven't implemented the effect, but then we have some bonuses here, like this and this. It just gives points and we also have the extra time that appears a little bit later on yeah there you go and it just it raises the time to 60. now the pickaxe is showing but um and we have some functionality here so add pickaxe works and we're never going to have more than three pickaxes and use pickaxe is going to tell us what we need to know in the player because i decided to make this interface and everything so complicated instead of using yes okay so because okay so i i I, I don't know. My, my point of view with with, uh, with games is that if you don't learn, you're not having fun or, or something like that, right? So if I make the the location of the, you know, if I make the bonuses or the pickups completely random, it's just chance, right? You are not a good player. You don't learn. You don't learn the screen because, you know, it can appear whatever. So what I like is that they are always in the same place for this stage. So you can, by playing this stage several times, you can learn where they're going to appear and, you know, play better, right? Okay, so, I mean, that's, that's my opinion anyway. If the game is completely random, it's not very fun, I think. Okay, to do, pickaxe, there you go. We're going to do a to do here. So... If you use pickaxe, it does returns one. What is going to happen is that we had a pickaxe. So that means that um, max, no. Uh, I don't remember it's in Bulsa. Okay. So if use pickaxe returns one, is that we had a pickaxe. So we are invulnerable and the enemy will think that it hit us. And we don't lose a life. And also no, and that's it. Because yes, use pickaxe is the one that knows about the pickaxe and it's going to update things in the game. That's it, it's done. It's not it's not a bad interface after all. It's just that I don't have a lot of time to finish the game, so... <laughs> okay, so I got the pickaxe. 
but I don't lose a life. That's perfect. And now I don't have pickaxe. Pickaxes? Pickaxes? I don't have any pickaxe, so I lose a life. Okay, so that is the behavior. Now, the pickaxe is going to confuse everyone, uh, I think. Uh, so I will have to explain it somehow. Because my six-year-old said, when I told him that there will be a pickaxe that you can pick, he said, then you can go up to the enemies and hit them with a the pickaxe. And fair enough. I mean, if a six-year-old is going to think that, everybody is going to think that. But that's not the behavior because that makes things complicated. So the pickaxe is going to protect you from one hit. And that's going to be it. Now, the question is, um, oh, that bad got in the, yeah, good move. So the question now is, do I lay the pickaxe in that position, yes or no, or should be next to the lies? I think I'm going to leave it there. Instead of pickaxe, add a shield. Yeah, see, I added a shield in Night Knight, and it makes sense because it's a knight, and the context is different, right? But I thought, a pickaxe, two reasons. We are in a mine, a helmet, mm, maybe. Um, I mean, you're wearing already a helmet. So my point is, I draw this pickaxe that is kind of awesome. <laughs> I had to use it. Yeah, I had to use it. Yeah, my wife is laughing. In fact, yeah, exactly. I draw a very nice pickaxe. I want to use it. Uh, I don't care. Really. If people are too bothered because the pickaxe is like a shield, well, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is a new enemy, actually. Um, it's kind of inspired by Toy Story 3. Uh, I was using that as a reference, like the top is is red with the... Um, yeah, it looks, looks kind of okay. So this is going to be the... This is going to be the free enemy. So it's going to move... Uh, free will uh, around the screen. So far, the bat and the... Well, uh, the snake is a fixed pattern, but it's not, it can't jump up and down. And the bat is a, it's a fixed pattern in reality because it bounces, it's, you know, it, it never goes after you or anything like that. But this one is going to add a little bit of, it's going to be fun because it's going to move, it's going to follow a pattern, but it's not going to be a pattern easy to, to, to understand so it's going to feel a little bit like it has free will right and this is going to be the the time monster you run out of time instead of losing a life i'm going to make this enemy appear and it's going to chase the player um so either you pick up all the gold or you lose a life because the monster kills you so but anyway don't let's not get ahead of ourselves i think the pickaxe is fine um we can make uh, another test like uh having two pickaxes for example we can have it put it here and that's it let's move around a little bit cool i mean in reality i'm just making a little bit of a clone of another game i made so that's two hits, so that's one, two hits, yeah, it works fine. It makes sense, you have a pickaxe, so the enemies don't kill you, of course, everybody knows that. Cool, so this should be, uh, this should be the pickaxe done as well. Now the keys on the doors, uh, I need to think about it because although what is that I, I have a very nice sprite as well i want to use it um so yeah it's just because it will add something different i didn't implement in night night and because i don't think i want or maybe i don't have time to implement moving platforms so that's going to be different already um so i want to add this 
it will add a diff a twist. Uh, but I still thinking a little bit what is the more efficient way of doing it, um, which is not very important. I no, I know how to do it. I, I can do it already because yeah, I even made the extra ties that I need for that. So yeah, the doors. Maybe I can do it today and finish all the pickaxes, all the pickaxes, all the pickups in one go. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so this is fine. We don't look at the map. So three pickaxes. Uh, the hood does fine. Then we count the pickaxes. We draw. When we draw, we draw the sprite. Otherwise, we take the number. This gold was 30 because I was testing, I think. Um, I'm not sure what for anymore. Because I need to look at this. Um, what is this gold for, really? So it's defined here. But the gold is set by the map, right? So the map accounts total gold. This gold is not useful for anything, I think. <laughs> there you go. I mean, the compiler is not reporting that the variable is not used because it's actually used, but it's not used for anything. So we we declare a variable, we put a zero on it, and the compiler is super happy. Yeah, you're using the variable, it has a zero. Cool, uh, so that's not used at all. I'm glad that we removed that. Okay, so... Um, well, we need to add that again, right? Cool. Okay, we stage that. So this one is now fine. We remove the gold that is not in use because it's on the control of the map. So yeah. It was a placeholder initially, and I didn't use it at the end, I guess. Yeah, so this is the interface, so the player can update the, the pickaxe information. Uh, this is just fine. I, I removed the enum, enum type because it's not being used, really. Because instead of doing a switch, we moved to use a, an array, a list, really, with the init functions. So if it's zero, that's the player, otherwise uh, we use a, we call the function from the array, that's fine. Fix the pickaxe, uh, they need for the pickaxe. The pickaxe appears sooner than the other uh, pickups. I have a weird feeling that I made this change the other day, but I don't know why it's not here. Maybe I didn't, I, I, I did that by mistake. Player here and adding the pickaxe to the map importer. This is absolutely fine. Cool. Oh, I got, I got, um, so there is this guy. He may even watch this, this video later. Um, so this is this guy from Korea that he's, He's using my. He wrote a book about game development for for uh, all systems. He's using my libraries for the MSX, and he left a comment the other day in a video in YouTube because I'm I've been loading these uh, streams to YouTube, uh, and he told me that he was able to compile this the game in in Windows and also in DOS. So he compiled Windows and he said they use um, this is an ID which is called write or I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, and he told me that you can also do uh, debug, which is fine because that debugger, that editor is probably using GDB, so it should work fine. Yeah, that was cool. It was totally unexpected. I mean, I do cross compilation in Linux, but I'm not. I didn't think about supporting, uh, you know, and you can compile it in, in a way. It makes sense as long as you have the DJ GPP in Windows or in Mac, 
it should work, right? There's no reason for no. I'm not doing anything specific. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm being careful on purpose. Like, for example, in, in all games, if you have utils or auxiliary functions, you can call, <laughs> you can create an aux.c, for example, and then you can't really compile that in Windows because aux is a, is a special device that has a file name, whatever. So basically, you can't really compile that in, in Windows for whatever reason. I don't legacy stuff or that was they used to be the case so yeah I'm, I'm i'm being careful on purpose do you use chat gpt for coding no i don't and i don't plan to do it pigeon patrol it's a fair question no i don't i don't do that i'm i'm doing things for fun um so why i would want to do that I don't use it for work either, although work is not always fun. But yeah, no, I don't use chat GPT for coding. Cool. Um, what do we do next? Um, okay, so let's open the to-do because it's super useful. I mean, the to-do is getting shorter. You're welcome. I mean, sorry. I'm, there is a lot of people talking about chat GPT and you know it makes sense but I don't know my point is I would I wasn't expecting someone in coming to my stream that usually there's nobody here <laughs> what are you used to build a game it is an old 16-bit compiler no I'm using GCC actually um, it is quite modern um i'm using gcc if i can type i'm using gcc 12.1.0 from 2022 so yeah um i mean the source code is available Uh, yes. Okay. So there is an, okay. So there is, um, there is a, okay. I can, I can talk about it a little bit. Why not? Just quickly. It was going to take me two minutes. So there is, there is this, what is called DJ GPP. So it's a 32 bit development system for three, eight, eight, six and higher running on DOS, right? So this is the first, my first uh, time working with uh, with free software and and G and, and, G and new tools and GCC it was in 1997 or something like that. And I was using this. Um, so today you can compile this as a cross compiler, for example, in, in Linux, that's what I'm using. And it can generate uh, those uh, binaries for you, but it's using this. So it's using GCC with the specific tools to generate uh, those binaries in here. And you can do the same with uh, uh, with Windows as well. I mean, I can compile in Linux for Windows, and it uses the same trick. So it's just they have their own port for new bin utils and some libraries. So I can just write, just C in Linux, and it generates something that works on those. So this project is very interesting, but you know, it's, it's from those, th those years, right? And I think the latest version is from, I don't know how. So this is the current version, 205. And I mean, it's been updated in 2016, but the code is from those years. I think it's 99, could be um so it's kind of so it's it's <laughs> it's new old right it's all the stuff but it's new because i'm using a new compiler which means it's great i mean i can use everything i want from a modern compiler um anyway 
So yeah, the to-do list is going shorter. The time is also leaving us. So um, oh, so I can work on the. I didn't know what to do next today. Um, the pickaxe has been easy, really. I mean, okay. So let's do some of these because I need to do it. I mean, at the moment. Basically, I don't like this, you know, going like that, it doesn't look great. So it's going to, you know, it may be like 20 minutes and we can make it look much better. So, and what we can do is we can, so enter this draw, play a draw. And then, does it mean you can use C17 um, or C23 for some things? I don't know, to be honest. Um, so I was, I started working with, it was this project? Yeah, I started working with C99. Don't ask me why. I was working on C99. <laughs> But then DJ, DJ GPP doesn't work with that version. It requires some uh, new extensions. So I don't know. We can check if you want, but I don't know how, because I'm not really, what can I, how, what, what I should be looking for. Um, target maybe. I don't know, but I know that you can, you can enable things. Um, maybe we can do a quick test, like um, just a quick one. So I clean everything and you're telling me that I could be doing, for example, C, okay. Let's try that, STD C17. Ah, it's, it should be the same. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> so it's because, so you can, so see, um, most of the stuff I implemented myself, it works. But the thing, the places where I use a specific stuff for DJ GPP, it may not work. So the answer is um, yes, but not everywhere, and it depends. Um, and it depends. I believe it's because DJ GPP is kind of old. I mean, we're talking about the code, the second version, maybe it's for 99, something like that. So it's very really likely that they doing things that is not completely compatible. In fact, when I was using C99, it, it did some things didn't work and I didn't know why. And looking at the includes and the include files, then I realized that it was asking for very specific uh, expression. Well, yeah, 2015. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, thank you, Steve. I didn't know. I, I thought it was because every time I look anything about this, you know, I look for a library and suddenly that library, the last update was in 96 or 98 or 99. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, so what I want to do here is uh, I don't want it, uh, that the transition from starting the game. So we, I want to make something more easy to, to see. Um, like, uh, I know I'm failing at words right now. So uh, what I want is like this game, I, I'm trying to make something that is like an arcade, right? So when you start the game, you don't go to, to, to start the stage straight away. You say like ready and then go or something like that. So let's do that, which is kind of simple. Um, 
Are you bleeding very deeply into the frame buffer? Uh, there is no frame buffer. You, I'm, you can bleed directly into the VGA and uh, the man memory of the VGA. I'm using a back buffer, uh, although in my tests I probably don't need it because I'm just using the small sprites and I'm doing it fast enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm directly writing into the VGA. It's just that I'm using a back buffer and I dump the buffer completely, 64Ks every frame. Um, and that's it. Yeah, there is, there is actually plenty of documentation. Uh, I think, I mean, I mean, if you're curious, you know, you have curiosity and you want to look at it, you know, you can make a tea or grab a coffee and you can go through all this documentation in, if you don't touch code and just reading in an hour, you can read everything. And this, I mean, this is basically what I'm doing. It's explaining everything you need to know. It's explaining everything you need to know. It's really, it's really good. And this comes from, I don't know what it was that. Uh, that is like, I don't remember. There was some mention saying, you know, this is all, I wrote this a long time ago. The examples are not good. <laughs> Uh, who is this tutorial for? I don't remember. But he's, you know, the, the, the author is kind of saying, you know, I'm not completely happy about what I wrote, but in case someone finds it useful. Yeah, yeah, Borland C. I think it was Borland C++ something. It's probably, it's the only compiler I have ever bought. It was before I knew DJGPP. Oh, yes, a minute. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway. Cool. So, yeah, I, we just need to write ready. And then... The very, yeah. Well, you know, there was some people where, you know, like Turbo C and things like that. But, you know, the, I, I bought that one. It came in, in, in a CD. So let's make a ready, which is, anyway, let's enter that. So it's going to be 160 minus the length. of ready. So 157, uh, that doesn't look good. No, because it is actually eight times this. I don't know. I really, I mean, yeah, I don't miss those days, to be honest. <laughs> I think the first Linux I installed was in 97 or something like that. And, and those, I don't miss that those days, like, I, you know, you start Linux and basically the only thing I did was compile the kernel and compile things like, so my target was, you were six, oh, you're too young. <laughs> so the target was, I wanted to play Doom with, so it was, it was all like that. Okay. So now I have BGA frame buffer, it works, but then the sound blaster doesn't work. I feel the sound blaster, the mouse doesn't work. And, you know, uh, tweaking the kernel configuration and then, oh, but now the CD-ROM doesn't work. So I need to, that, that I don't miss that at all. Really. Okay, so this shows the text of ready. And now we need to wait for some time. Um, and I think, um, I think I have done this before. This wait some time. Should I have a function to do this? Maybe. Um, no, yes, no. Mm -mm. 
Let's do it. So we can do now. I mean, the problem is I'm just waiting. Um, I'm waiting frames. Um, I'm not super happy with the way I have to measure time here, but yeah, it's going to be enough, I think. So probably. Um, okay, so this has to be here. So we write ready. We show the screen. We waste some time. Uh, and what? We waste some time. This is probably too much. Just some, some amount of time. Now, the problem now is that we need to redraw everything to get rid of the ready. Let's see how it looks and we can clean it a little bit. So, okay, I made a typo. Mm -hmm. And I made another typo. Oh, what? Oh, wait time. Oh, static void. <laughs> kind of distracted. And that should be that. fine now. Ready? Too long. And it didn't update the hood. So that's not good. So we need to render the hood for everything. Um, something like this. And the ready is not because I didn't copy the number properly. So it's 36. Ready. Too long. And also it's not. Okay, so it's 200 minus. Oh, what happened? 200 minus 16 so so 88 is the center hmm but it's not looking good let's try with that and it's too long so maybe i don't know let's start reducing until it feels about right ready Okay, so now it feels too low, so it's going to be a hundred. Okay, so there is something missing here. And obviously, we don't have music, right? But when the game is, you know, press the space to play, then some there was a short tune before the stage music i don't know i think it looks okay oh i'm going to keep it like that now how ugly it is to... Okay, so... Okay. 
I mean, in reality, we we could be uh, saving the background of the of the ready the text, right? And and also, are we happy with that? I I don't know with the color. White is fine. So wait some time, and then you know this is to. Now the problem is that I don't I don't know. So if we if we yeah we need to draw the whole map and then the entities and the player. So there is no other way of doing it. But it's fine. It doesn't have any performance hit because it's what it is. Cool. Okay, so so that's one thing. Um, well, let's call it that. Okay, what else? Uh, we can do the pause. Again, it's something that, you know, is it's just polishing, right? The, the game is not a better game just because it has pause or not, right? So, um, let's see, do I have a key P for pause? All right, so... I guess in here we can say if case keys key p then and then we probably want to have a pause, right? Someone there's a light the light on the garden. Could be the hedgehog. Oh, it's a cat. We have we got a cat. It's not a hedgehog. We don't know what happened to the hedgehog. It's not been seen for a few weeks now. I hope it is all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I hope it's okay. Um. Mm, it did. Look like a war hedgehog. I mean, it was kind of. It did look strong to me, but I don't know. I don't have a cat, but there are plenty of cats in the area, so. So we are property of cats instead of us having a cat, I think. Right, so the pause. Um, bam, 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 bam. When the game starts, we need to set the pause to zero, right? And actually, I'm thinking, uh, shouldn't be setting the game over as well to zero somewhere. There you go. That's potentially a bug waiting to happen. So. So pause and game over. Um, so, so we saw that, and in here we do, um, uh, I guess, something like that. So, more things we need to think about. If we hit the pause, then we need to do time pause. Otherwise, we resume the timer, right? 
and here probably we need to wait until the key is released right something like this And also, well, we need to stop uh, the music or whatever. Um, but let's try that. So ready, and yeah. So we pause and wait a little bit. Then we resume, and nothing has changed. So that looks like. And it's great when I, you need to take a screenshots of the game, <laughs> right? Yeah, I think it works fine. Okay. So that's the boss. I mean, it's just small things right um shall we add some notes here like um say you know the action something like that uh key pressure up is jump left is move left Right is more right then P house pause assume something like that. Um for now uh control it okay control yeah that's there you go I just have the the real copilot without using an artificial intelligence that's great thank you good programming right there controlled cool i mean it really doesn't matter in this case because and besides i definitely want to add joystick i know uh it's not relevant but you know the my sons are going to play the game and that they can't they're too young to play with the keyboard so i need to implement joystick that's a requirement cool um not too bad in one hour um what else we can do something that is easy um so the end of a stage this that one is a tricky one uh because we need to do a stage complete show some text um, then we need to to apply a bonus with the time that is left and what see the, the thing at the moment is that for testing, we only have one stage and it's only one JSON file uh, that we export from Tile. So in order to implement that, there is a lot of plan B I need to do because we need to have 
we need to have multiple maps, import multiple maps, and have a way of of accessing those in here because it's currently it's only one file that is called a stage. I mean, I can have one file for each, you know, stage zero, one, two, three, four, five, going like that, and then have an array. But considering that we have the map importer, it can do all the work for us. Potentially, because it's currently only managing a map, but we could pass easily a list of JSON files and it could handle them all. Um, the only downside of doing that is that we need to find a way of packing that data because we know how big is, we just can add the size of each stage really. So we, we know the two blocks that we have at the beginning. So one is the tile map that we use to, to draw the screen. Then we have the tile map telling us where there is gold. And then we have a list of entities, which can be variable. It's not fixed. While the tile maps is always the same size, um, the entity list is not. So I guess um, we could have we could have a prefix uh, with um, two bytes telling us the size of the map, which is kind of annoying because it means that we need to, there is no direct access. If we're going to go to stage 20, we need to get the number and keep adding until we get to that one. Or we could just have a header. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I need to think about that. I'm, I'm thinking about it right now, but you know, this needs a little bit of work. Um, now, the intro when there is a new game, I was thinking that I could make a small map with an arrow passage. It's just, I just want to make a, a tunnel and the character crossing the tunnel and with a text like, go get that goal or something like that. You know, just try to make it feel a little bit arcade, right? Uh, all right, okay, so I guess um, another thing I want to do is <clears throat> in the menu. So the menu currently is super, very basic. And I tried a couple of ideas and all of them were terrible. So I, I undid them. Um, I have, I have some sprites here. I was thinking of adding some, some glitter or something to the title, but I, it looks like it's a lot of work and it might look like not good. Um, so I'm thinking instead um, of implementing something like an attract mode. For example, uh, let's look at some other games. Um, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing as this one, very likely. So let's look at Braille Rig, for example. Um, I was thinking something like this. So this is for the Amsterdam CPC. I mean, it has loading a screen. It's loading from disk, so it takes a little bit of time. So, yeah, I mean, something like this. It's a very simple attract mode. So what I was thinking is I can make the press space to play blink somehow. And then it, it would be fun to show like here, um, the like you see for example in in pac-man you know we can use i could use funny names like snakey batty 
all minor whatever and you know pull the sprite with the name maybe because there are not going to be that many enemies so that could be like you know silly attack mode so we can do that um so at the moment he, this is not updating anything right so what do we do what we do, do so we can do 16t uh wait so we can see Mm. So, sorry, we can do we increase the weight, and then if weight, what if weight is, for example. what how many how many frames do we wait we can do for example 64 or wait equals to so 64 64 plus what 16 is going to be too much anyway let's do that And then no, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I have done this like a million times. Uh, okay, let's look at how I did it. No, because it's in assembly. Oh man. Um, so basically, um, it's not going to be uniform, so it's not going to be, so, or oh, weight equals, uh, no, okay. So yeah, it's absolutely fine. So we can do this like this. So if it's 64, we erase like this, why not? And then when it's 80, we do it again. Uh, okay, because we need to wait every time, right? Okay. See, um, we need to wait for V-Sync because that's the only way we have to, to wait time. Well, there you go. And it's kind of about the type of blinking I was expecting, right? Maybe, is this what I want? Hmm. I mean, this is ugly, but I think it's fine. Look at it again. Okay. Um, and in, rea in reality, we don't need to do it like this because we're using the modern version of C, right? Print T 
we can do it here and then and then what then we probably want to have another function to do the the cast right is too much maybe it is too much maybe it should be more like let's see that oh it's, I just I broke it there you go oh no this is this is just box being funny. This is just box being funny. See, it's not, it's not even working. Okay, let's try again. I don't know why sometimes that happens. Okay, so I changed that name and didn't change it there. It's a little bit ugly. I, I would like to do it in a better way, but for now. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, how can I write this slightly better? Um, I guess we could be doing... We could be doing maybe um differently um no it's fine so basically we erase on 76 on 76 and then we restore an 80 and we loop that's fine mm, okay so this because we're going to draw we need to draw the cast right now the question is what I'm going to leave on the screen do I want I'm not sure I'm going to have a space in here to put everything so I could just leave the high score and just remove the, the, the middle bit. But in any case, um, we need to split this in parts, right? Like... It's not going to be only the high score, but it's going to be the high score and the copyright, I believe. And then the menu is going to be this block. And it's going to be... Something like this. And maybe. 
uh, and then I guess this can go here because oh no 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 it then it's going to be so the render and then it has to be the manual and then we split that hmm maybe yeah let's do that uh no because the way it has to be inside so what i want to do is yeah i mean we just can make a function to do the other bits and make it easier so this is rendering in you know it it just split things so it's the same result for now but now what i want to do is i keep the high score and the copyright and we do we we draw the cast so for that um, we need to have a way of counting how many for how long we do this right so And we can do as well. So So what? Do this, we need to erase though. Uh, and after doing all this, we definitely need to sync. So, here. And then the way for the effect press space to play has to be so this is only available if okay so if there is no cast we do this and then the menu then wait equal zero uh, fine this is kind of awful can we do the update now no because the weight has to be outside anyway could be worse I think So we go in the, the spider the title is in about 45 it can be 50 for example
what? How many times do we do this? I don't know. That's too much. Maybe something like this. And also, if we put this on the top, uh, no, we can't. <laughs> I was thinking, okay, so we can put it on the bottom. So we got it. And I think now it's, it's worse. I think I like it better before. Yeah. Now the gas is probably needs to go a little bit higher, like. 30 or something or 35 Yeah, there you go And now uh, we put the cast, we do the cast, and we have data already. It's going to be a pain, but let's do that. So we need... Um, so... It's going to be uh, red, isn't it? Uh, sorry, I don't even know what programming language I'm using anymore. Uh, sprites, and there's going to be a list of rects. And then we need to get the sprites. So we get, for example, this one going to be 0 32 right and here is the size of the of this so where are you image is the size of the source 144 144 okay So that's a snake. Um, and then we can do static const names. And then we can do something, and it's going to be eight, for example. Is that enough? And it's going to be snakey. <laughs> Yeah, that, if it's then body, then what? What other enemies we have? Which is not. nine so we need to set it to ten anyway this is absolutely wrong right so 
You know, raise that, raise that. Okay, so how do I do this? I never remember. Um, and place it in. Uh, okay. My bad. Okay, so that one is happy. And oh, we can keep it like that. So is this correct? No, I just can do this, right? I don't I don't know. Do I need can I do this? Can I make a pointer and it, there will be variable? Or do I need to set all the same size? I think it's probably okay. I mean it's not complaining, I'm going to leave it like that. Cool. So yeah, we need to add more here. Yeah. So next one is going to be the bad. It's going to be probably this one, but we need to center it because otherwise it's going to look awful. So center is probably 6436. one is 0 80 and we can add the time monster although it's still not in the game but it will be so 80 40 80 48 and obviously time monster is bigger so but it really doesn't matter, I think. I think it's because it's a list of pointers and the compiler will allocate the strings in any way independently, so we can just do it like that. Um, so we're going to do for... It's four, right? For the cast, and basically, we need to have a rec for the destination that is going to be where are we going to put this? Uh, let's say, no idea, let's say 80, for example, and we can go from there. And we started putting this, the cast, in 35. So we can say 50. And the size is going to be 16 by 16. So, bleep RC, then the binary. Right, start, and then it's going to be what? Sprites, one with the loop. Sprites, Y, sorry, I, and destination. Then put text. It's going to be what? It's going to be 80 plus 16 plus 8. So, something like that. Maybe. And then here is going to be sprites I. It's the same thing anyway, just because it looks so. And here is going to be the Y coordinate plus four, maybe. 
and then it names y. So we draw and then what? We fade. Um, let's do something. Let's make the weight function available somewhere. Because I think I'm going to use it here as well. Um, and I'm not sure if I should make that in game or what. Maybe it should be in a different place. Let's think about that later, but. So we have this here and then white maybe something like 32. And his names um so put text what is oh uh, the color right I'm not using colors. Maybe I should ooh, use some colors in there. Uh, well, it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, because every time we do this, we need to do destination on Y. We need to add, for example, 26, maybe, but that's too much, that's too plenty. Yeah, but there was something funny here anyway. Okay, so the bat, there is a problem with the bat uh, because we adjusted that. All right. Um, okay. So what's going on with the, with the text? What am I doing wrong? Oh, because it's not a sprite, it's destination. So we were using the Y coordinate of the source in the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet. So spreadsheet. So that was wrong. Um. No, it has to be maybe six. Okay, there's going to be one more enemy. So, but still, I think we can move it down a little bit. And so, let's do it all dependent on our value so we can change it easier. Hmm. 
Yeah, so not too bad. Maybe we can move it this a little bit. We can also use different colors. Uh, maybe we can use. It looks all to same, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we do ten here for this one? Yeah, there's another thing that we can improve. Uh, because the count is, the waiting time is too long. And as, unless we can make this longer. There's another one. And then we go back. It's too long. So yeah, I think I I like more what we have here, 32. And but then we need to make this time shorter. Um if it's cast. If it's cast, we can make it shorter. Like it could be even hard, right? And we broke it because if it's not zero, it never gets to the oh man. Well, to start with, um, I think it's, it's too much anyway. So maybe... do something um i think although it may not sound related but this is similar to to vsync right when we wait for vsync so instead of wait time we're going to say wait frames hmm? And it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so that's probably a good idea to do it like that. think it's about right, isn't it? Perhaps this is a little bit too short. Uh, so what about, okay, so uh, 
uh, no, what I'm doing? Uh, no. Uh, so it's 72. So it's missing 72. Okay. Maybe it's going to be better like this. If we do. Yeah, because I don't want it to finish with the same vino when it changes. Well, it's doing the same again. So, well done, me. Anyway, I'm going to start putting comments and leave it here for today. So, render the high score, fine. Render menu looks okay. Uh, so. Ooh. Let's add the player, shall we? It's probably a good idea. Because it's part of the cast. Okay, it's going to be zero zero. Okay, so that's good. Um, Price for the cast. Um, this is rendering the cast. And menu, which is awful. I don't like it at all, but that's the best I can come up with right now. Um, so it's going to be like that. And now it's not right because reasons. Um, they're going to call it the minor. And this number is now five. I mean, this my number here sucks, but uh, we can do this, right? And we can say and the compiler will tell us if the number is wrong, right? So, this problems. Cool. Well, this second part has been a little bit boring, but some polishing, some polishing is important. So the miner, snakey, patty, all miner, time monster, and we have space about the space for one more uh, enemy. And that should be fine, I think. Now, question is, do I need to center this a little bit? Probably. Um, so, the cast is in 128. So, 128 minus 16 minus 8, 104. So if I do it like that, it's going to look better, I think. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's not the most amazing attract more you're going to see. Um, yeah, but it has that feel of retro arcade, right? Um, I think it's fine and it's going to be one more enemy that I need to draw I think I know what I'm going to do and it's going to be okay 
Um, shall we add a placeholder like? Like this, and because it's not going to, so I can tweak how it looks. And just so I need to add the name and the see, I need to tweak now. Uh, so it's going to be <laughs> Mr. Bones. Uh... And I need to change this now. So probably move this up five pixels and it may be alright. You can also remove the high score. There you go. It's looking good. Uh, the cast can be moved down a little bit. Maybe it was right when it what it was. No, don't like it. What a little bit. There you go. Or maybe I just can't remove, I can't remove the, I can't remove the high score. Nah, it's all right. I mean, I guess it looks a little bit busy, but. Okay, and I'm going to change the order because the most the time monster is going to be the last one. Then all my there and Mr. Boss. Yeah, cool. Um, is it worth trying to do some funny business with the colors? Like, um, Why not? Cool. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Um, Mm -mm. doesn't look great so basically I mean it works but it's not great how can I make this slightly tidier mm. I mean, it's probably yeah, having different updates and then choose the update and
Uh, okay, we can try to delete that. Yeah, but it, because the problem is that they have to have a state, right? So it's not going to change, really. So the ROM menu is going to wrap the draw and the update. This is the draw that only happens when we change. Uh, okay, so. Turn the screen to guys drawing. Actually. Uh, now, yeah, we don't really need to do it like this. We can just do this, and then it's going to be we can do it like this. Why not? Cool. Slightly better. Right? There you go. Um, so in here we just did that. Okay, so going to be all for today. Wait a minute. Did I update that to do? No, I, it was not. I don't think I had it there. It's something I've been thinking about. The menu was... When the menu... When you have a menu that is only text, you need to make something move. And, well, this is kind of a pretend kind of single screen classic arcade, right? So it kind of makes sense to do that. Have an attract screen like this. It feels very classic arcade, isn't it? Um, I don't know, early 80s, 83, 84. Maybe I'm getting the, the, you know, the years wrong or something like Burger Time, something like that. I don't know, what year is Burger Time? Eighty two. Well, something like that. Eighty two, eighty three, like Mr. Doe or Burger Time, that's kind of, that kind of stuff, you know, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's it's looking a little bit like that. Which is fine. Now the question is, what would be the music for the menu? Or maybe the menu doesn't need music. I don't know. You press the space. 
ding 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 then the music bidi 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 and then we start playing the music then a tune for game over and that's it i'm not going to have a lot of time for that and the music for me is probably the hardest bit in making a game because yeah you have something in your head but getting that oh i got hit but it's okay oh i got hit oh that's something we probably need to fix uh do we want to fix that or not mm -mm 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 -mm. Wait a minute, it, it depends. How easy, how difficult it is to fix that. Uh, because player collision. Uh, quack, 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 And it, this is not good. How do we fix that? We need to fix that. We need to fix that. Um, because... I mean, we don't want to collect the pickups when we die in. Um, but I think we want to pick them up when we are invulnerable, right? So either we have this and that's what's going to be, I think, because otherwise we need to pass a parameter. the same right uh so wait a minute 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 do i need to do this uh now we just can call so in reality is this and then it's return Yeah, in pickup, um, okay, and it's fixed now. Hello, my Carlos. I smell C. Yes, it is C. Hello, how are you doing? You got just about, yeah, I was leaving already. <laughs> Yeah, but I saw this bug and I'm going to fix it. I think it's fixed now. So we get this. We get this. And then let's wait for a pickup. So we are invulnerable and it's picking it up now. Which is what we wanted. Okay, so... It's a good fix. Um, so... Very quickly. And uh, this is... Um, There you go. Cool. Excellent. Done. Last minute fix. Yeah. Good session. Uh, so yeah, we implemented the pickaxe uh, 
we implemented this um, attract screen, at attract mode, I guess, uh, trying to mimic a classic arcade. Uh, it looks okay, I think. Mr. Bones, we need to add the sprite for that one because we're using the time monster for now. And we added the, you know, maybe one small feature which is the pickaxe, but then a little bit of polishing. Oh, question. Oh, there's a bug here. Do I want that? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, let's keep it. Uh, previously, in in Nine Night, if you go into spikes and you are using the shield, you're dead anyway. Um, but that's okay because in this one we can get up to three pickaxes, right? So that could allow different ways of completing the stage, I think. Because in this case, I can jump in there, right? Although I did a little bit of coyote time. <laughs> the only way is jumping like that. You can't get to the other side, right? So the pickaxe could allow you to complete the screen in a different way. So that could be interesting. Anyway, not a bug, a feature. Cool. Um... Okay, today is Thursday, so the next session is planned for Tuesday um, because I'm running out of time uh, to finish the game for the jam. I've been, I mean, 17 days left. I've been doing a little bit extra streaming, but I'm not sure if I would be able to do this, to do that this, this uh, weekend. Um, so I still need to do some some sprite work here because we need to draw Mr. Bones um, so I will do that and next time yeah we have three enemies so three enemies left uh, the old miner is going to be the free enemy and the tracker is going to be Mr. Bones the time monster we know is when we run out of time is the one that's going to chase us uh, until we complete the stage. So I think for the next day sounds like a very good idea to do as much as we can on the enemies. So yes, so next week we start July already uh, and we are definitely running out of time. So we have two weeks and a bit. Um, so yeah, next week we should be finishing the enemies, I hope. Um, so I may do some work on my own. Oh, there you go. This is done. <laughs> So I'm gonna do some work on the on the sound. I need to I need to, to try it. Um, so I can make um uh, maybe some tests just to be completely sure that the library is going to work the way I expect. Um, because I can wire the the sound uh, during a stream, but I'm going to do, prepare the effects and the music on my own time. It's out of stream because it's going to be boring and and annoying me making noises um so yeah it's looking it's going to be very tight to finish everything but i think it's possible so if next week we kind of finish the enemies uh and we leave the doors and the sound for the next one i only need to design the levels that i don't know how many i'm going to to make um, there are not that many enemies, so we'll see. Um, I mean, it's not too difficult to design stages, but we only have a very reduced die set. 
and I'm not sure if I'm going to have time or energy to draw more tile sets. So I don't know how many screens, 25 screens, and then it starts to be repetitive. Um, usually, I don't know, um, my, in my 8-bit games, I have done either 50 or 80. And when I do 50, for example, I usually have five different tile sets. So it doesn't look very samey. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I can do whatever I can. I can submit the, the game to the to the jam. Or maybe not, because I'm not sure if I'm going to submit the game. I want to, but if I don't submit the game, it's not the end of the world. I will release the game anyway. So maybe, you know, if I submit the game, I can make then an update and, and add more content. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a DOS game. I mean, how much do I want to include in this? Not that many people is going to play it anyway. So yeah, good progress today. Looking good. Uh, in I think it's possible to finish a game. I'm not sure a game. I, I'm not sure how good it's going to be or how big. Uh, I, I haven't checked this. There are submissions. Yeah, there are a lot of them already. So I don't know, really. I need to think about that. But yeah, let's let's make something that is fun and new game for those that everybody can play. Cool. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye-bye-bye.